Ola Capricorn Sun, Gemini Moons. Welcome to your 2024 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre recorder or live reading. Just click on the link tree below or text me at 646 902 5715. When you see this reading is when you were meant to view it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also, check out your 2023 Sun Moon predictions and see if they rang true for you or someone you know. The first portion of this reading, I will go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination, pull the main cards, and take a quick look at your 2024. The second portion is in the Vimeo link below, below, where I will have a deeper interpretation of those cards with clarifiers, in addition to a card of advice for 2024. So, Capricorn Sun, Gemini Moons. While you are an ambitious creature, your work ethic can get the best of you with stress and tension. Make sure to allow yourself breaks and respites and realize it can't all get done in one day. Pace yourself and focus on the present. Tomorrow will come in its own time. Personal connections can be, a challenge, can be challenging to form. Not a lot of people get you, and this can be just as advantageous as disadvantageous. Your high nervous energy coupled with your somberness can act as a sieve. As a result, you can have a, you can have a quality over quantity. Qual you can have quality over quantity when it comes to your network. You know what I mean when I was saying that. Um, that's not to say you don't have a lot to offer with your quirky humor and dependability. You're strong-minded and attractive to academic and scientific. You can be found at the helm in, in a corporate entity or in a laboratory. You work very well in framework, a framework of facts, statistics, and proof. In relationships, you can be very unpredictable. You're so changeable, in fact, that your partner could have a hard time keeping up. Try not to be impatient. Slow down and give them time to catch up to have a more promising interaction. So, Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides of the Universe, can you please draw your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for it? Capricorn, Sun, Gemini, Moons, for the year 2024. What do you see? What do they need to know? Reach your heart, ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine. Can you please show me January, February, March? January, February, March for Capricorn Sun, Gemini Moons. We have the Moon card in the upright for January, February, March. That is the card of Pisces. Also, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. We have the Seven of Cups in the upright for the period of April, May, June. Can you please show me July, August, September, July, August, September? We have the Sun card in reversed. And how will Capricorn Sun, a Gemini Moons be in October, November, December? We have the Eight of Swords in the upper right. <sighs> okay, so it looks like in January, February, and March, you're having a really hard time kind of seeing your way forward. Um, Usually the moon card in the upright is when you don't have a lot of clarity or it can be that something looks really good. It looks really bewitching. So you kind of get into it and then you, you need your, um, your intuition, you need your subconscious to kind of guide you along the way um, because there's hidden pitfalls and there's things of that nature. So it might just be you're, you know, generally confused. Um, kind of warbling along during this period of time, whether it's in a relationship, um, on a career path, um, through any situation in general, you're not going to have a lot of clarity um, or a lot of vision as you're moving forward. Now, you're going to have more of the same, I believe, in April, May, June, because here I'm seeing a lot of different ways to go, a lot of different options that you could have that are being presented to you. And it's always great to have a lot of options, but it might seem a little bit overwhelming. It's like you're a kid in a candy store, but all the options that are presenting themselves to you don't always have candy in them, okay? So as you can see, you really don't know which one to choose because you really don't know enough about it. You see that guy kind of looking at all these uh, opportunities but not knowing anything really fully. Um, the advice that kind of goes with this card <clears throat> is be very careful about what you commit to. Make sure you do your due diligence and your research and look into each and everything. Make sure you don't invest money. Um, so make sure that you're grounded, you absolutely know what you're getting into because you may be tempted by something on the, of the surface and find out it's something else entirely different um, on the inside. Um, as we get into uh, July, August, September, the Sun card of reversed shows you in a situation that kind of has you down a little bit. 
So maybe you did go ahead and choose and now um, you're just kind of thinking, wow, this would be really great, but it would be so much better if, and then fill in the blank in regards to that. So you're gonna have a hard time kind of staying positive, keeping your chin up, um, being optimistic about the situation because there's just something kind of hanging over you, taking away from that. Um, and I'm kind of getting that sense. And as we move or as you move into October, November, December, we're in October, November, December, here I see you kind of stuck, trapped. Um, it's, it's, it's something that you've done of your own choosing. You've landed yourself in a situation that you probably landed yourself in over and over again, whether it's a certain type of relationship, whether it's a contract, um, you know, pertaining to a job that you have, um, you know, it could be any sort of situation. And I feel as though you kind of feel like you're stuck and you can't get out of it. But this is self-imposed restriction. I mean, anytime you choose to step out of it, you can. You just might be telling yourself that you can't, um, which really isn't the case at all. So again, it's, it's a matter of, I've said before in other readings, it's a matter of changing our perception and kind of looking at the reality of it. You know, if we perceive something to be a certain way, that's all we actually see. So that's what I have for you all for 2024. If it does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below or text me at 646-902-5715. Um, otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below where I'll be pulling these cards and those cards for a deeper interpretation in addition to a card of advice for 2024. Check out your 2023 sun, moon readings and see if they're praying true for you or someone else. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend in support of my efforts. Always appreciated. Otherwise, Capricorn, Gemini, Capricorn, Sun, Gemini, Moons. I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.